Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Welcome, welcome. We're gonna get started pretty quick here, but not too quick, because I know we have a bunch of people that will be tuning in as we send out the updates. We planned an event page today, because I get more and more people reaching out, asking about how to improve their mobility. And so I thought, you know what? We're gonna have a mobility guided session today. As so welcome to day eight of the Whole Life Fitness Manifesto free to join challenge. I'm Christy. And I am Coach Di, or you just call me Coach Moose, whatever. We're all friends, so uh, let's, let's uh, treat each other as such. And um, so for those that are just tuning in, realize this is day eight. We're just starting in on our week two of a four week journey. Some of you may not be on that journey with us, but you can join us at any time. It's free to join. Join WLFM.com and sign up for free and become part of our community, it, the tribe. Uh, tribe is really just a, a fantastic group of like-minded individuals that have said, hey, you know what? My health, body, mind, and spirit matters. And so we commit 2% of every day, literally commit when I say commit, we make it a non-negotiable. 30 minutes, 2% of every 24 hours, we commit to improving body, mind, and spirit. We do that with 15 minutes of movement with purpose, five minutes of mindful meditation, 10 minutes of personal development. Hey, hey, Scott, Denny, I'm gonna say some highs here. Avi, how are you doing? Good to see you, my man. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome. I know we got a bunch of people. Be sure to uh, say hello to everyone, guys. If you're just tuning in live, let us know where you're coming from. Where, where are you watching from today? We'd love to know. As you can tell, we're at our villa in Bali, Indonesia, and uh, we're broadcasting live. It is morning for us here. Obviously, it's Monday. I'm calling you guys from the future. Some of you guys are on Sunday, right? <laughs> hey, Greg, how you doing? Technical difficulties? All good. Arista, welcome. Good to see you. Denny, Van Kuba, YVR, hello, hello. Yeah, so today, guys, we're gonna be going through a guided 15-minute ritual of mobility, okay? And uh, it's really important. Do you ever have those days where you just feel really stiff? Some of you might have jobs where you work behind a computer screen, you spend a lot of your day sit seating, and we know that, based on science, it's not really like we need science to tell us, hey, Erica, hi, nice to see ya. We don't need science to tell us that too much sitting is bad for us. Our bodies are built to move, move. And we need to move it, move it with purpose. Um, but if we don't take care to really ensure that our ranges of motion are, are healthy and feel good, and when I say feel good, if you have problems even just raising your hand up over your head, you get an impingement in the shoulder joint, maybe caused from uh, not enough usage or too much usage. Eva, hello, hello, welcome. Uh, realize that these are things that you can work through. So today we're gonna to do a 15 minute routine, so it's 1% of your 24 hours, and this is something you can pull out and do anytime you want, right? Uh, my family laugh at me, because often Christy and I will be seen waiting for an airplane, and we'll be doing our mobility there at the gate. Why not? You know, we'll be waiting in line. I remember us going to Disneyland a few years ago. We had a half an hour wait for a popular ride. We did some stretching while we were waiting. Why not? We're there anyways, so these are little tips and tricks and hacks for you to be able to leverage the time that you've already got, but start to use it a little bit differently. Greta, hello, hello. Greg and Greta both on. Fantastic. Where are you guys watching from today? Let us know. Um, so we're going to get going in a second here. I think we'll give people another two more minutes, uh, but be sure to introduce yourselves. Let us know where you're watching from. And uh, do you guys have a mobility routine? What do you do to, to help your bodies feel better, right? Because uh, it's important. It's really important. Man, you only got one body, so you gotta treat it right. You gotta respect it, right? Cool. Awesome, so today all we need is a mat or a towel. So we just follow along. I've got a timer set. Um, we're super excited to launch out. Uh, we found this awesome app that you can soon um, subscribe to Dai's workouts via the timer. Good hair I got going on today. Looking good, <laughs> looking good. <laughs> um, and so it's gonna talk us through each movement and keep him on pace. This is amazing for anyone who's just joining us. Dai loves his mobility and sometimes goes over. So today it's 15 minutes. And uh, in the email, you guys will see what the workouts are. Okay, ready? All right guys, so get yourself situated. And we might go a little bit longer than 15 minutes. Eight. That is only because I wanna be able to show you the movements. All right? So you're just gonna try to follow along. I think you can all see me in shot there. Can you point that down just a little bit, Christy? 
point this? Yeah, just down a little bit. There we go, there we go. Now you can see it falling. Um, before we get started, I'm going to just show you the first movement. First movement, we're going to lay down on our stomach. You can extend one hand out to the side. And what we're going to do is we're going to be turning over slightly. Don't force it. Just let gravity sort of in there. Keep that front shoulder pinned to the floor. You're going to feel that nice stretch in that shoulder. That's going to be our first one, the shoulder cross. We're going to do one minute per side. So get yourself situated. Get yourself your mats, your towels, whatever. You guys ready? We got some chill tunes going chill on. Chill tunes today. Real chill. Gonna... And uh, let's get this thing started. Make sure you can still hear us though. So give us a thumbs up if as I turn. Hi Marcy, welcome. As I turn the tune, the volume up here. You guys want to give me a thumbs up? You can still hear Dai because he, he's going to talk you through it. Can you guys still hear me? Give us, someone give us a quick thumbs up as long as you can hear us still. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Can you hear the music as well? We want this to be a great experience for you. Perfect. Thanks, Erica. All right. Perfect, guys. So we're going to get started. We're going to start with the shoulder cross. Left hand out from the side. Just turn in. There you go. Okay, I'm starting. Perfect. Officially starting. Here we go, three, two, one, start. So remember guys, it's just gravity, all right? You're just gonna ease in on this. Yeah, perfect. I don't want you forcing it. There should be no pain when we're doing this today. We can modify any of the stretches based on your range of motion. If you have any injuries, modify. Don't force anything that feels unnatural. Okay, we got about another 30 seconds, then we're gonna switch arms. Awesome, guys, 20 seconds left. Really focus on deep breath, deep breathing, right? Be mindful, feel the stretch, wherever you're stretching. Right now we're, we're stretching the shoulder. You should be feeling that across the front of your shoulder, probably up in your upper chest. A deep breath. Great, let's switch sides. Same idea, right side out. Just turn it in on it, okay? Remember, deep breath, be mindful of the stretch. Breathe into the stretch. <clears throat> I love this one, it's so good. Remember, these are all fairly passive stretches. We're gonna be utilizing our gravity, our body weight, I should say, and letting gravity help us through the stretches naturally. Lots of deep breathing. If you're just joining us, hop down on your mat, get in position. We're doing a shoulder cross right now as a beginner. From this movement, we're gonna be moving into a kneeling dog, and I'll show you that one in a sec. Which time? We've got 10 seconds. Awesome. All right. Now we're going to a kneeling dog. I want you to extend the hands out in front. We're going to sit back on those hips. Bringing our chin and chest down towards the floor. Okay? Really focus on keeping the gaze forward if you can. Or slightly down. You're going to feel a stretch again in the shoulders and the upper back. Maybe towards the mid-back, depending on how tight you are. Some of you, if you have really tight backs, tight hamstrings, tight hip flexors, you may be feeling this in the lower back. All good. Remember, deep breaths. Big, deep breaths. In. Out. Sit with the stretch, right? Good. Now we release. We're going to go down to our chest on the ground. I'm going to show you guys the sphinx. All right? We're going to press up with our body, upper body. Think about a sphinx, right? Remember the sphinx in Egypt. Now, for those of you that are really flexible, you're going to feel a bit of a stretch. This is like an abdominal stretch, but you tend to feel it in around the L4, L5 in your back as well. If you are fairly flexible and this isn't doing much for you, you can transition it into a seal. This is where we're gonna go all the way up. All right, so Christy's doing Sphinx. She's moving into a seal right now. If 
you look and put your gaze upward, you should feel a nice stretch across the midsection. But you might be feeling in around the L4 and L5 as well. Remember, deep breaths, guys. The entire time while you're doing these stretches, deep breath. Good. We're going to go into a frog stretch now for one minute. You're going to go wide on the knees, wide on the feet. We're going to go down on our forearms. All right, you're gonna feel a good stretch in the groin right now. Now, if you're feeling this and your knees are tender, put some cushion under the knees. Make sure you're on the mat. If you've done this one a fair bit, I'm okay on the tile. <laughs> and as Christy made note, make sure your toes are pointed out. If you've ever seen a frog and how their legs are when they're sitting, think about that position. You should feel a good stretch in your groin right now, the groin area. If you're Christy, you can make sounds. <laughs> All right, so good job, guys. Good, guys. All right, we can start to transition out of this one. Come to your knees. What you're gonna wanna do is sit back on those heels. We're going to now put our arms back just slightly, okay? We're gonna stretch our chest towards the ceiling. As you're doing this, you should feel a good stretch in the shoulders and the chest. Deep breathing, deep, deep breaths. Now, if you can't get back of that, just get to a position where you can, and we're just gonna be arching backwards. Keep the hands at the side if you need to. We're trying to get that nice big stretch, okay? See me from the side here, I'll do it. Okay, notice how I'm sitting. Back. Hi, baby. <laughs> Good work. We're going to transition out of that one now. We're going to move into what's called the iguana. Care of my friends at Romwad. Romwad.com. You want? We're gonna extend one leg forward. I'm gonna go left leg first, stretching the right leg back. You can use both hands right now to sort of stabilize yourself. All right? This one's gonna be one minute per side. You're gonna notice you're gonna feel a bit of a, a stretch in that rear leg hip flexor. So right in the hip area, maybe in your quads a bit. You're also gonna be feeling it a bit in that left hip, especially, as it's a good hip hip opener. You wanna make sure the weight's on the heel. Knee joint should be over the ankle joint. It's stacking the joint, okay? So you get this nice vertical shin. You can utilize your hands any way you want to balance you right now. I like to press my knee outward when I'm in this, and as you start to lower yourself, which you can, depending on how you're feeling, again, as your mobility improves, you can do that. Good, we're gonna come out of that now. We're gonna switch legs. We're gonna go to the right leg. Good. Same idea, utilizing your hands to position yourself and to hold and to adjust how much weight you want down there, right? How much weight you want sitting on those hip flexors. Good work, guys. You're doing great. Remember, lots of deep breath. Lots of deep breath. We got 30 seconds left in this one. If you guys feel up to it, you can go down to your forearms. I remember when I first started with this stretch, I could not do this to save my life. I was like this for the longest time. But over time, you start to improve. You start to be able to push it just a little bit more. Lots of deep breaths. We're gonna be going to kneeling hamstring stretch in a second. We'll start on the right side and then we'll go back to the left. Good. So as you come up out of that position, I want you to take your hands and straddle your leg. Notice I'm still in that kneeling position. I'm gonna sit back now. As I shift my weight backwards, straightening out that front leg, my right leg. Don't lock the knee out. I'm simply using my, my upper body weight right now to lean in, gravity pulls me down, applies a bit of pressure on the hamstring. I feel this nice stretch in my hamstring right now. Lots of deep breaths on the move. Maybe you guys have any lower back problems? Tightness in that lower back area? This is a good stretch for you. All right. Go ahead. I don't have my chair, but if you have a chair or a couch, you can use 
that is a balance if you can't get your hands down on the ground to exactly. hold you stable. Good point. So we're going to start transitioning out of this in about two seconds. One, good. Let's come out of that. We're going to switch legs. Put the left leg forward, same idea. Okay, we're going to now stretch that left side. Deep breath, guys. Big deep breath. those squats. We've had lots of squats this past week, right? The first week of the Whole Life program with seven days in a row of movement. It's nice to have this eighth day to, to do some, a little bit of rest and recovery. Even though this is 15 minutes, guys, I like to encourage you that when you're doing your mobility, if you're watching TV or you're watching maybe the Olympics right now, hey, this is a great time to just do some deep stretching, right? There's no time limit. Even though we're doing it in 15 minutes today, you could literally Hold each stretch and sit in it. If it feels good, do it a little bit longer. Good. Awesome. Let's transition out of that. Now with the right leg, I want you to go up into sort of a, a downward dog for a second. We're gonna bring our right knee towards our right wrist. This is what's called a pigeon stretch. We're gonna then sit in on this leg you notice how my heel is underneath. I don't know if you can see that. Right here. I'm coming down to my chest. Now, if this is challenging or if it's really, really tight, you're going to adjust how far you go down on that leg. The pigeon pose is a, it's a big move in the yoga community, especially. This is a great hip opener. Really good on the hip flexor as well. You're probably going to feel it in the areas that you feel tightest. So in around that hip area, we have lots of different muscles and ligaments and tendons and all sorts of soft tissue. Wherever you're going to be feeling it, don't worry. There's no right or wrong. <laughs> it's fairly subjective. You're going to feel a stretch wherever you're at. Good. We're going to come out of that. We're going to switch. Now we're going to bring the left leg forward. I always find I get way more of my glutes on the left side because I'm really tight in my left hip. Again, let's get into that pigeon pose. Good job, guys. Well done. We have another 30 seconds. Deep breath, right? Deep breathing. seconds left. Ten more seconds. Good. We can start to transition out. We're going to come up to our feet. We're going to do a deep squat right now, all right? Fire the hips back. Let me show you. Hips back. We're going to lower our center of gravity down. Nice and deep. Proud chest. Engaged core. I like to bring my elbows on the inside of my thighs, pressing the knees out. This is going to be a big hip opener for us, all right? Come on down. Nice and deep. Keep that weight in the heels. If you want, pigeon toe the toes out slightly to allow you to open those hips a bit more. Proud chest. Engaged core. Really want to press out on these knees. Feel the hips open up, right? Feel the groin area open up. Some cultures eat like this. And smoke like this. <laughs> Wait for the bus. It's amazing, in North America, we have a lot of chairs. And sitting all day long, we see a shortening of our hamstrings, tightening, especially our hip flexors, which impedes us from doing this movement. Look at the babies. Babies can do this great. Okay, we're gonna come out of this now. Slowly. Nice and slow and control. Now you're gonna go nice and wide, okay? We're gonna do a wide straddle, standing straddle stretch. We're going to hinge forward. Just let your hands dangle, your upper body dangle. You're gonna to start to feel a stretch in the groin, especially in the lower back area. You can go as wide with your stance as you feel comfortable. We're gonna be doing this one for two minutes. This is the last two minutes. Standing straddle stretch, I love this one. Chrissy, just let me know that some people call it the rag dog. When 
we get to one minute, I'm gonna go a little bit wider. Just less than a minute left, guys. Keep your knees slightly bent. You don't want them fully locked out. But remember, you're bending forward. Let gravity do the work. Deep breathing. Sit with the stretch. guys. How are you feeling? Huh? Feeling a bit more open? Maybe we turn on the tunes a little bit. Awesome. So you guys should be feeling quite loose now, or at least looser than you were. Realize that was 15 minutes. That's 1% of 24 hours. Imagine if you thought about this as your maintenance routine, just to keep the body moving fluidly, make it so it feels good, right? Because it speeds recovery. How many of us feel really, really tight after workouts or too many workouts or maybe too many days of not moving enough? This is all about opening the body up, opening up those joints, getting ourselves nimble again. Because that's the way we are when we're born, right? You ever watch babies do a squat? They don't even think about it. Their bum's on the ground <laughs> at all times. And there's really no reason why we lose that ability to stay mobile, right? So just in, just Putting this little 15 minute routine into play every day will make drastic improvement to your quality of life. Guaranteed, guaranteed, okay? So I'm really happy that you guys were able to join us today. Hopefully you found some value in this 15 minute routine. Um, again, if you're not getting the daily emails, make sure you're signed up for it so you don't miss any of this and that way you get records and you'll get copies of how to do this type of uh, mobility routine whenever you need it join WLFM.com. Now I'm gonna call my kids in. Today's day eight, as you guys know, and we've every day of the day, uh, every day uh, for the first week, we've had a different letter. So we've been working our way through the alphabet. We have a word of the day, which represents a theme to think about as you head into day eight. Today we're brought to you, by, we're, day eight is brought to you by the letter G. It's H. Oh, H, yeah, we did G yesterday, didn't we? Yeah, sorry, letter H. <laughs> okay, girls, come on down. Let's see, let's talk letter H. Oh, What's letter H? The letter, er, wait, it's the letter H. Ew, 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 ew. I'm not sweating. Yes, you are. <laughs> but, oh. but today it is health or healthy. What is it? Healthy. A state of being free from illness or injury. Ooh, I like that. You see, you notice healthy, a state of being free of illness or injury. Aging well. Aging Healthy well. Foundations. If you guys didn't know, actually, it's really interesting. We did a lifestyle survey at the end of 2017, beginning of 2018, and the number one goal that came back for people, like people's general goal for 2018, was to age well. It's the first time in all my history in the health industry, over 20 years, where I've asked people, hey, what's your big health goal? Normally it's weight loss, muscle definition, you know, more energy, stuff like that. But the first time ever, some, the shift is happening, guys. It's happening. People are recognizing it's quality of life, not necessarily quantity of life, but more than that, it's qualifying our goals and how we feel. People want to age well. How awesome is that? Anyways, thank you, girls. Thank you. Thanks. Great. I like day H. Yes. I like day H. Guys, get ready. We're going to do five minutes of mindful meditation. All right? We're going to set a timer for five minutes. And... Uh, just get yourself situated. If you got your mat out still or your towel, get yourself in a comfy position, all right? We're gonna go and close our eyes, focus on our breathing, really be mindful of the letter H. How does health manifest in your life? How does it manifest in your life? What does it allow you to do? People don't realize this. We have to qualify 
what does health mean to us from a quality of life standpoint? We don't really think about it. It's always when we don't have health that we think about, oh my gosh, health is so important. It's always those, oh crap moments, right? <laughs> right? It's those, ah, oh my gosh, I should have really taken better care of myself. And uh, so let's, let's take some time, let's focus on this. Uh, thanks for tuning in guys. I'm really uh, happy that you're all here today and that we've had this opportunity to share some time with you. Let's continue this time. Five minutes mindful meditation. Christy, set the timer. I gotcha. Will you guys all get situated? Hello, Derek. Hi, Jason, Eva, Scott, Kevin. You guys are awesome. Thanks for joining us. Siv, man, I can't even get through these all. Zachary, Lynn. Okay, I'll give some more shout outs at the end. Thanks, one second here. Everybody situated. Big breaths. Practice your four square of breathing. Yes, this is great. So uh, four square breathing, just to remind you guys, <clears throat> you imagine that, it, visualize a square. We have four breaths in, pause for four as we draw the side of the square, four breaths out, draw the line of the square with the hole of the four, and then four in. So it's just, you keep circulating around this square, four seconds per, right? So uh, maybe Christy will lead us through that today. Definitely make some prompts. So we'll reflect right, on right. the word help, what that means to us in three, two, Thank you. 
Nicely done. Phew. Day eight. Day eight. We do. For those of you finishing up day seven, congratulations on all those burpees. And uh, <laughs> with day eight uh, starting for you tomorrow, for some of you, and some of you today, like us, mobility, great way to start it. And realize this routine can be done at any time. You know? You've made a minimum commitment of 2% of every 24 hours. It's minimum, right? Because you're worth it. We know you're worth it. You better be believing you're, you're worth it. And the nice thing is, is there's an accountability community, right? We're all here to hold each other accountable. We're here to uplift each other. We're here to support one another <laughs> on this amazing journey called life. It's awesome. And as long as you choose to make these daily deposits, you're gonna see big, big returns on that daily investment. It compounds day after day after day. Life happens. I know there'll be days where you can't get to your 30 minutes. It's all good. Don't beat yourself up. Don't let that become a reason to not continuously aim to progress, right? We have a mantra, progression over perfection. There's a reason. Guys, as long as you're always progressing, always growing, hey, you can have a great life, okay? <laughs> Be proud. You're growing as an individual. You're supporting those that are matter to you most in your community, in your families. You're, you're a leader, you know? We all are. And we just have to make conscious effort to, to make the best decision every day when we're put into certain situations. So keep progressing, keep showing up, keep commenting, keep engaging, keep making those connections because it's what's gonna keep you on this path. It really will. And uh, as they say, you know, we only have one life to live, but if you live it right, one's enough. So keep on charging forward. Thanks for joining us today. We really hope you got a lot of value out of today's routine. Let us know what your thoughts were. Please uh, feel free to reach out to Christy and I personally if you have any suggestions or comments, feedback. We'll take a quick scroll through on any of the comments here, see if we missed any questions or, or whatnot. <laughs> Uh, and then, then we're going to just uh, let you guys go and have a great evening. And we're going to go enjoy our day. Join us every day for the next few weeks. Same time, same place. And uh, definitely post your words below too. If you go back to any of our previous videos, we've gone through the alphabet. What's your H word? I'm thinking a lot of you guys on this feed, health or happiness is a pretty popular one for you. But we're open. We want to hear yours too. So. Thanks so much for joining us. Hi, Stephanie. You can get the replay, don't you worry. Thanks again. I think I got most people scrolling all the way back. Oh my gosh. Holly, Becky Jo, Amanda. If I missed anyone, Leanne, Lewis. Sorry, peace out. Bye, Mike. Have a great day, guys. See you guys soon.